Hi, my name's Alex Peretti. I'm the founder of Folio Shack. Um, in a sentence, we're creating a new generation of smart documents. So we're aiming to innovate in the world of financial research and document creation in general, and improving the way documents are created and distributed and published. So why is this a problem? Uh, why do we care about doing this? So at the moment, most documents fly around uh, via PDF. So a company will create a PDF, email it out, potentially print it, um, but ultimately PDFs um, have had their usefulness, but they aren't living themselves. Uh, clients are using mobile devices now, uh, tablets, and pinching and zooming a static file just doesn't cut it. Uh, data is not really part of a document at the moment, uh, in the sense that you just have a static snapshot you can't do anything with. And nowadays, people are accustomed to mobile web applications and iPhone apps and playing around on the web and would like something a little bit more interactive. And documents have all this rich content, and it's a shame to not be able to let people interact, it, interact with it in new ways. Um, another key issue in, in this kind of simple problem, but not really, is that uh, when PDFs are sent out, you don't really know what people are doing with them. Um, and so ultimately, that's, that's a real shame to be losing all that data, which we could be gathering and working with. So how are we tackling the problem? So we built uh, a web platform which allows us to uh, overhaul the entire workflow. So what we're doing is providing you with a platform to create documents, um, author documents, publish documents, and distribute them, but also gather metrics, gather analytics. And a key thing here is that we, we care about actionable metrics. So we're not just creating, you know, gathering some numbers and sticking them on the page. We want to work with clients to try and really figure out what's going to help them make business decisions. Uh, why did we think we could do this? Uh, so we're basing this on a lot of previous experience in the world of financial research, a lot of experience in design itself, because designing documents, communication itself is key, and just web development, developing rich internet applications. Uh, we want to make sure the product is scalable and robust, um, and especially extensible, uh, because at the moment it seems you know documents Products in general can be quite slow in the way they progress, and we want to make sure we can respond to the market, respond to what clients need, and w have a kind of baseline of what documents should be able to do, but then work with a client to ensure that they can take the full benefit. Um, another key element about our product is making sure that data is at the heart of the system. So what we mean by this is that you're not just creating a document, sending it out, and, and that's it. Um, and also our approach is that we let you take care of the content, because that's what you know about, taking care of the content, taking care of the data, putting it in a document, and you can let us take care of the rest. So you can let us take care of where it's going to go, how it's going to get to your clients, what it's going to look like, what the styling should be. So our business model, it's Pretty straightforward, licensing model, uh, recurring yearly fees. Uh, obviously, you can tweak that. Um, but we can also incur fees for consultancy audits. So clients like stockbrokers or investment banks will go through periods where they want to redesign their research, also look at their actual document range and decide what, what it is they want to communicate m most in the, the most effective way. And so we can help them with that as well. And of course, you know, custom modules and features. Uh, we think data visualization is, is a kind of a, a big sector at the moment. A lot of companies are investing a lot into data visualization, but there doesn't seem to be a platform to kind of publish those, those data visualizations and these interactive charts and interactive tools. So we want to enable that as well. In terms of competition, I, I think this is one of the key things we want to do is leverage the fact there aren't any solutions which tr attempt to do things the way we're doing them. Because we're, taking, we're trying to take care of the entire process, which we think is the right approach. At the moment, one of the very common things you'll see is a reliance on Microsoft Office. It's what it boils down to, is you create a Word document which has not been uh, ideal. I mean, you're kind of forcing Word to do things it's not meant to do, <laughs> but people do it anyway. Um, and I think it's time to sort of move away from that. And a lot of companies aren't. Um, and we think we can become an essential part of a business, an essential part of their publishing workflow. 
because we can deliver those metrics, because we can take care of where the research goes, we can embed ourselves in a lot of different areas. What are we looking for? Uh, first of all, how are we doing? Good, thanks. So our first client went uh, live a couple of weeks ago, uh, and it's been going really well. Uh, they have you know, hundreds of users per day using the documents. They publish you know, 15, 20 dom documents per day. It's been going smooth. Um, and surprisingly, they haven't ne needed much training at all. Uh, they just pick up the product. And because we're basing it on you know, modern web technologies, and we care a lot about design, but also development, we've been able to build a product that just kind of works. It's not kind of, it, it actually works. Um, so because of this early cli client, we haven't needed to raise much money, and we've been able to reach this, uh, this development cycle. Uh, but of course, we feel that you know, to maximize the opportunity, we'd consider raising more money if it felt right. Uh, and we're looking for any strategic partners as well who can help us get the product out there and do great things. That's it. Thanks so much, Al. OK. Thanks. OK, do we have any feedback for Alex? Here we go, Andrew. Yeah, if you kind of look at your main competitor, which you refer to, which is at ABPDF, right? Yeah. Th they dominated with a very, very clear strategy right from the start, which was open, free access to the reader. Um, and so, you, you know, they were one of the pioneers of the freemium model. And you've gone for, a, you know, straight away, straight out of the blocks, you've gone for the opposite model, pay to play. And I'm really interested why you've made that choice, because, you know, on a superficial analysis, it seems like adoption's the key to getting buy-in and adoption is driven massively by having a free option that people can taste the product and then upgrade. Yeah, so I think a free option is something we're, we're going to think about and look into, but at the moment our target are stockbrokers, investment banks and other types of businesses which essentially rely on actual templates. So they're already paying, spending a lot of money on Word templates, uh, which aren't that adequate, and it ends up as a PDF. So even though PDF is an open format, um, at, at the end of the day, they're paying a lot of money to have the uh, facility to create those PDFs, and that's what we're delivering as well. But we go beyond that. Uh, I could have made that clearer, actually, but we, d we still create PDFs as well. So the idea is we, you create content, and then we take care of getting it out in, uh, into as many devices and formats as possible. So it ends up as a PDF, email, different devices, and so on. I'm really, uh, really interested in the product, actually. I was um, wondering if you could walk us through a brief case study of a particular scenario that a stockbroking firm or investment firm would, would utilize. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 most, the most simple thing is at the moment, um, I mean, I won't take you through the entire workflow, but trust me that it can be quite clunky from going to, I want to make a document to creating the document because they have to find the template. I mean, it can be quite a mess. So the idea with my platform is that you can log onto the application, create a document, define some parameters. So you say this document is covering this company, pulls in data from the company straight away, then you can start creating content. So we've come, come up with this kind of modular approach where you can add modules of data, which makes it very easy to get content in. Uh, then th you can define who has access to it. So we have lots of advanced features on this particular workflow. Are, the, are they people who subscribe to it? Are they one-offs? And then you press a bu button to make it live. Our first client didn't believe us when we made it live and it just sort of sent emails to people and it just sort of worked. Uh, and, and that's it. So it's a very simple process at the moment. Hi there. Um, Hi. Really nice idea. I like it a lot. Um, I think we all know that investment research has c kind of died a death over the last 10 years. It used to be a huge thing nowadays. It's stuff that you can get for free that you couldn't before. I mean, how are you dealing with the Google finances, the kind of do it yourself, putting your information together. I mean, we all, yeah. we, we all have the information in our hands, so what, what's your pitch? And, and secondly, you know, obviously your technology can be used for any, any area. Are there other ideas for, for other sectors? Yeah, so, so a couple of things there. I mean, first of all, um, I mean, research is, is the, the landscape of research is changing, but it also means uh, big companies want to make the most out of the time they have left. <laughs> and so you do have big investment banks and big stockbrokers spending, rebranding and making sure that they stay on the cutting edge of uh, having the best documents. But another thing is that our, our product's not just about creating, aggregating data like Google Finance, where you're just putting it yourself. It's about having access to that data. So for example, we could interface with Google Finance, but then allowing you to have um, your branding and it, it takes care of the entire workflow. Uh, and of course, you, you know, we, we're not, 
We're focusing on financial research at the moment because we think it's a great opportunity and there's a lot to learn for in, in working in that sector. But absolutely down the line, the idea is to actually use it for, uh, and even at the moment, you could use it for almost anything. So. How are you finding customers? How do you, what's your route to market? I take it you're a strict B2B, so how are you yeah. overcoming that slight problem? Yeah, at the moment, to be honest, it's just um, a lot of personal relationships and making, cr creating, finding people to make introductions. One way of doing it is we work with some designers who actually design the research for these, for these clients. And so we, they go into design the research, which are big contracts, and they take, it, take them very seriously. But then there comes the point of, let's get this design and let's get it looking right in a word template, and then everything goes crazy. So we can slot in and say, actually, it looks great. Here's an iPhone. And, and, and that's, that's one way. But of course, there is still this challenge of how to go much broader with it. And that's something we're still, we're still working on. We'll keep experimenting with. So we can go quite a long way through our relationships, and then we'll, we'll look, look into it. On different areas of investment. Yeah. And uh, I have seen a lot of investment companies even take their help. And there are famous good talkers also in those group. Is your company using the same model that the Wall Street researcher and other, based on which the investors, potential investors, the high net worth individuals, and also the investment bank makes investment. Is your model very akin to those models? Well, I mean, our, our model is, is, is actually more akin to a, a publishing company. So what we're focusing on is the publishing of content. And we plan on fitting into any, I'm not sure if that answers your question fully, but the idea is we're able to aid facilitate in the publishing of content. So we can slot in into lots of different businesses and at, lot of di at a many, you know, many different points. So we're keeping things very flexible. Are all the documents viewed online? Um, you mentioned uh, some of them being converted into PDF. And if so, how do you then keep tracking them outside the system? And are people doing that to overcome perceived limitations in the system at the moment? Yeah, I mean, of course, I mean, that, that's going to depend on the client a, a little bit and on how hard they want to push their online presence. Uh, because if obviously we're still sending out PDFs if, if they want us to, and you can't track those. But the idea is, you know, people reading these documents aren't trying to circumvent the system. They just want to read these documents. You know, so if they get out on their iPhone, they're not going to say, show me the PDF. Because it works better on the iPhone as it, as it stands. Or BlackBerry, for now. BlackBerry. Um, I know a number of buy side clients want to receive the chunky bit of the research in a tweet. And then right. click through to more information if they want it. Yeah. Have you thought of building that in there somehow? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's not something that's available right now, but we'll definitely want to do. Because the idea is each document is we dissect completely. So every piece of content, we want you to be able to extract it. So if you say to us, we have these documents with a summary or key takeaway or a conclusion, we can then say, here's a button, tweet it out or, or email it out as the case is at the moment. So that's definitely something that's a great idea. Yeah, I want to do that. <laughs> okay, thank you, Alec. Thanks very much. Thanks. Thanks.